Hey everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to the channel. We're going to continue colouring in fairy tales, princesses and fables uh, by Selena Fennec. I do apologise if you can hear any noise in the background. Paul's watching the football and chatting to his mate. Um, yeah, so we started doing this one of Goldilocks and Three Bears and we're going to continue doing that today. I don't know how long this is going to, to go on for because I have got a very sore throat. I think I'm coming down with a cold. So I'm just uh, getting my pencils ready. So I hope everybody's okay. Um, first of all, I want to welcome all my new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing. I hope you enjoy uh, the videos that I'm putting out. There hasn't been many this week. It's been a really weird week, but uh, I will get back into it. And um, I want to also say thank you for coming back if you've been with me for a while. So yeah, we're gonna carry on coloring in this uh, nice little picture. We're using the Black Widows on this one. As you can see, this is, I do like my Black Widows, as you can tell. But I do have another set, so. So restrictions have now been lifted a little bit where I am. Not very much, just a little bit. We can now go a bit further. Um, we can now meet up with uh, an, another household in the back garden, or, you know, if we so wish. From Monday non-essential retail is going to be starting to reopen hairdressers are already reopened which is good um, so it's slowly out now I'm feeling much better now from um, the issue with my uh, jab it was just a couple of days um, I would still get it if uh, they called me next week for my first one I'd still jump at it even with all the brouhaha going on with it and yeah it's fine so um, I've been reading a bit this week. I've started rereading my entire Marilyn book collection. Um, I've read one and I've got another one ready to start. But uh, some of them and the first one, they're not that good. Some of them, there are some terrible books out there, I must admit. Um, and that was the first one was one of them, sadly. Uh, the second one is okay. It's just a very quick overview. But, you know, and I'm still reading Stephen King and I'm reading The, La the Long Walk which was written under the name of Richard Bachman. So and I'm enjoying that, so. I'm actually filming this quite early for me. It's only like eight o'clock at night. Um, and it's because Paul's watching the football. And I thought, well, why not? I might as well do this and uh, enjoy myself and do a bit of colouring. And he's doing the same tomorrow, um, talking to one of his friends on Zoom, so I can film something else. So, although I've said I'm not going to be buying a huge amount of colour in the books this year, I'm trying to cut down and, and get through some of the ones I haven't coloured in, it will be slightly different in April. April will be a larger book haul. And the reason for this is um, every year in March payroll we get a small bonus. Um, it's not very small, it's a, it's a nice size bonus, I've got to be honest. Um, it is prorated down depending on um, whether you're full part time, and I don't have a problem with that because I don't pay tax on mine. Whereas the full time guys, they don't get the full amount because I have to pay tax on it. So um, I have set aside one third for colouring books, and the rest of it will go away for when we have our holiday, if we get it, hopefully in the summer. We're spending money so that's that so yeah i'm really looking forward to, to that I, i've already um chosen them i've put them in my basket ready although it's not payday for a long time yet i'm not worried about that um and i'll very happily get it you know and as soon as my pay goes in and i've checked the bonuses in there i will hit the buy button and if i've had to move them because i've needed to order something else out of my uh Amazon account, I will um, just put them back in afterwards. I know which ones they are. So I've chosen most of them. I think I've got one one more I can pick. I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do with that last one yet. So, so there will be a big haul at the end of April. But probably not any more pencils or stuff. I've got so many pencils. I don't need any more at the moment. I like to get them so that I can show you and review them and stuff. But I've fallen behind with all my 
reviews and first impressions and I do apologize I'm going to try and finish first impressions um, this week so it can go up on the week well the first part can go up on the weekend and then we can you know I've got a bit of time to, to do the next bit so it's, I do want to do them I've just it's been a very weird time um, I think uh, lockdown is really starting to affect us all now and it's so so difficult it really is so I don't know I think that's what the problem is so much has happened these last few weeks that it gets to the point where you're like I don't think I can do any more so I've got all the stuff here it's actually in the room with me waiting to be done so I've got three first impressions to film I've got the Brute Funa ones which is partly filmed and I've got the Mozart which is partly filmed and I've also got the Arteza watercolour pencils which I haven't started yet so um, yeah oh I'm so tired um but yeah so two of those pink so that they're not red but they're not a completely different color either so Jennifer's all right she's being a little madam she's three so she's just all that that defiant age where she thinks she knows everything she's not even a teenager yet oh good <laughs> that's gonna be fun now she's good as gold really you know like she wanted something and yesterday I said will you help me pick up your toys and then we'll we'll do that and she was you know she picked up her dinosaurs because they were everywhere um, and because we can now go and sit in granddad's garden especially like today when the weather was beautiful she had been down there helping him um, pot his oops that wasn't very good it broke pot his uh, plants which is really nice so uh, it's just What have I been watching on YouTube? What have I been watching? I've been watching Geographics, a bit of Steve Donahue, uh, some other booktubers I, I like, like Missy at Binge Reader, Peter Mon over at Pedo likes books. I don't watch that one very often. It was just he just came up in my feed, so I thought, oh, I'll watch that. Um, obviously, lots of colouring hauls and completed pages from February that people are still you know they're putting up and so yeah so I'm sorry if you can hear Paul talking about football boring <laughs> but uh, oh dear here's what it is <laughs> bless him Uh, like I said, I don't know how long I'm going to be doing because I'm losing my voice because I'm getting a cold. My throat's a bit sore, so... Just, just colouring a bit and... We can finish it off in the next video, so I'll probably try and do about half an hour, 40 minutes. So... Goldilocks is having a lovely sleep. <coughs> oh dear, my throat is so sore. <sighs> it's not good. It's not good. Mm. A couple of blues. I'm going to actually use blues for the bedspread so it's really contrasting with her. So yeah, I mean I've bought a few books this month and I'm on the April launch part launch club 
teen yeah. thing. So I, I have had another colouring book from them and I'm colouring in that at the moment. I might try and, um, when I've done this, finish that tonight so I can pop it up on the um, page and on my Instagram and then I can get on with my, um, I'm trying to finish uh, my uh, my whips that I've started this month so I mean, we've got just over a week to go. What I like to do is um, complete uh, my whips. I start loads at the beginning of the month and I start trying to finish them off. One I started last month but I uh, haven't finished it yet. So I've got that. I've got a long t long standing whip that I've, I've nearly finished. I've got a little bit to do. So I'll probably try and finish that tomorrow night because it needs to be done down here because it needs some water um, colour work on it. Um, it's pretty much done other than that. And then... Um, Next month I'll pick another one that's either nearly finished or is not nearly finished, one I've just started and I'll work on that one for the month as well. I mean, I have got a few books I want to colour in. I have coloured in some of the new books, but uh, <laughs> next month it's just going to be, hey, I'm just not going to I'm just going to buy what I want, you know, which isn't going to be much now because I've got so many. And I'm thinking, there's all these people saying they're going to try and finish this book this year and that book this year. And I'm like, hey, yeah, I'm never going to finish any of the books. Never going to finish any of them. Because that's how it feels, because I've got that many books um, with one or two pictures coloured in. There is one where I've got, I think, something like 12 less left to colour in pictures. So it's possible I could do that one. It's only a mandala book, but... I'm still thinking I might try and finish that one this year, just so I've got one. And of course if you get one off the shelf, that's one piece of space that's been freed up. But I think it will be with me, it'll be pattern books first, because I do so many patterns. Like this month, I've done so many patterns, because I've just been in a patterny mood. I haven't been in a... Although I have got a few good uh, colouring pictures, like this one on the go, you know, pencil work and markers. I just haven't been really in the mood for it. So I've just been thinking, oh, I'll just do a pattern. I mean, there, are, there is, a, um, obviously, a Colour in Heaven one, the, Tati, the Fabiana Atanasio one, which has just come out. I really want to colour in that this month. Um, but I want to do markers, so... I am trying, so... Jade Summer hasn't put anything out again. I don't know what's going on there. I, I think they'd be better off slowing down and putting and do one every other week and get, doing better quality and not so much patterns or re-releases. I do like their colour by number patterns. I do like the patterns, don't get me wrong, I really do. I just think it might be... You know, they used to put out some like, really good stuff like that. I mean, it's, it, all this stuff's good. But like the Norse mythology, Greek mythology, and the not stuff that wasn't so cutesy and kawaii and chibi. People like things like that as well as the kawaii and chibis. I mean, I like the chibis. Don't get me wrong, I really like them. But I also like to colour realistic images as well and not so much animals i'm not big on animals but i do get that people like animals doing animals so that's that's fine if they want to put out animal books i'd still buy them i think the last one they bought out was um steampunk animals which is i love the squirrel in there because it reminds me of squirrel nutkin from uh, the tv version of peter rabbit it just does so i'm gonna do him as a red squirrel and I make him look like that so. so yeah what I'll do is when I've done this I'll, I'll take a cup of tea upstairs to bed um, and get my Ava Brown out I might watch something on well I will watch something on YouTube I just don't know what yet the other night I was watching uh, some Marilyn stuff I watched a documentary called Remembering Marilyn which is the first documentary I ever saw, which and it came out originally in 1987, and I got it in the early 90s. Um, and I can remember it was the first thing I ever really bought on it, other than a postcard poster, because um, I'd seen 
Gentlemen for Blondes back in 1987, which was the 25th anniversary of her death, and it was on in the summer holidays. I remember watching that, and I loved it. And I got a poster and a postcard, and then in around 1989, another one of her films was on called Let's Make Love. And I, I recorded that one, and I enjoyed that one too. It's not her best film, but I did enjoy it. And um, I thought, I want to buy some more of her films. And I remember going into Woolworths, as it was then in the Kingsway Centre in Newport, with my mum, and we got there. And I'm looking at them and I'm thinking, oh, shall I buy this one, shall I buy this one? And the documentary, remembering Marilyn, was there on VHS tape, and I've still got it upstairs. And she said, well, why don't you buy this documentary on her first and see if you still like her, and then you can buy a, a video next time, a film next time. And I went, okay, but I already knew that I was going to like Marilyn. <laughs> it was something I just knew. Uh, you know, I knew I was going to like her, but just because I, you know, I hope to appreciate my mum's concern and I so I bought that and I loved it it's hosted by Lee Remick and features Robert Mitchum Jane Russell Gloria Steinem Susan Strasberg among others and it's a really nice documentary you know it's not full of scandal it does mention the scandals of her death and you know the rumours but, I, and the, but to me, of course, being a new fan, all the information was new, all the photographs were new, absolutely stunning. And I really, really enjoyed it, very much so. That, yeah, I knew I was going to like her anyway, so I, I you know... I think I then bought probably either Gentleman with Blondes or Seven Year Itch. Recorded what came on TV. Bus stop was the hardest to get up. There was problems with it. Um, the rights or something. Something to do with um, William Inge, I believe. But I, I'm not 100% sure. But I did manage to get it in the end. Of course, now I've got it many times over. <laughs> Those were the days for collecting Marilyn, though. Because... Um, it was harder because you didn't have the internet, but it was much more fun. It was. I mean, even eBay's not fun anymore. Um, and I'll go into that in a minute. But, you know, you used to go into a bookshop and I think, I'll have a look at the cinema books, see if there's anything on Marilyn I haven't got. And you might discover four or five volumes. And you'd be like, oh, look at this. I want this one. I want this. I want them all. And you'd either buy them or, you know, your parents would get them for your birthday or Christmas. I remember buying my first Marilyn book, which was Fred Lawrence Giles. I've still got it, and it's falling apart, and I, but I'll never get rid of it. I've also got the hardback edition, which is not brilliant condition, but it's in slightly better condition. And I just enjoyed discovering things, and she'd be everywhere. You'd see figurines in jewellers, and you had, we had a poster shop called Athena back then, and they'd sell posters, and there were loads of Marilyn posters in there. And, all sorts of things that I remember being able to do you know like, oh, it, was, it was just a fantastic time to be hunting even though we, we didn't have the internet there were fan clubs and you'd find out about them by picking up a newspaper and reading an article or buying a film magazine that's how I discovered Michelle's club Marilyn Lives Society and, and joined that and it was it was great, and I I loved it, and I've still got all my newsletters, and that's how I got to know Michelle. And um, then we, you know, you'd get ads of people selling stuff in uh, those places as well, and people would give the heads up, saying, "Oh, such and such a store has this in. Go to see if you can get it. It might be in your branch. You never know." I can remember when I was in drama school. This was in the nineties, long before. The internet became popular. I remember accessing the internet in 96. I left college in 96, but this was way before then. Going to Hitchin Market in Hitchin in Hertfordshire, and there would be, they'd have a market, and there was a stall, and he had some Marilyn stuff on there, and I'd always go and have a look, and I'd get it if he had some, and that's where I got some of my dolls from, and some books, and things like that. It was just amazing. 
and uh, I found Roger Taylor's first Marilyn in Art book in the bookshop window in Hitchin. That bookshop is actually still there, second-hand bookshop. I've got a lot of my Terry Pratchett's from there as well. And then when the internet and eBay came along, it was so good to find stuff. Now, it's a bloody nightmare trying to find Marilyn stuff on eBay. you really got to know what you're looking for because it's all these stupid prints that people have made up of pictures that aren't her and stupid artwork prints of her with tattoos or topless or chewing gum and blowing bubbles and bubble gum and stuff like that which I don't actually like and when they've been playing around with the pictures and putting tattoos all over I don't like it it's she wouldn't have approved because she was in such control of her image she approved every single photograph especially as the older she got she would never ever have allowed that to happen during her lifetime I don't care what anybody says she would not have so and you've got to troll through tons of stuff like that to get what you want to get to anything interesting because people don't always put it in the category you expect and sometimes they do things like spell her name wrong so you can search under Marilyn the right way and then you can find a load of other things because they spelt it Mary Lynn so yeah I mean it is it's one of those things where you've got to have a look and I just get bored so one of the things I look for is Marilyn news clippings because I love collecting newspaper articles and I might go through the magazines and if they've got cheap magazines where she's not on the cover and there's an article and I will buy them and add them to the collection. There's also uh, this fella down in London who I've bought for on eBay and he still collects stuff for me and then he sends me an email when he's got stuff and I then will uh, send him some money and he will then send me the clippings. And that's how I do it now. I don't worry about buying magazines and newspapers although I, if there is something I can know and I can get it I will. The other week she was in, uh, last week she was in The uh, Guardian about some Eve Arnold uh, prints that have become available. The, the, the poster prints for £30, which is expensive for a poster, but these are some of these have never been before published, which is nice. Um, so I wanted the article. I'd get the posters, but I've got nowhere to put them. I, there's one, the one I would want, but there's nowhere to put it. I, I'm, I'm realistic, I don't have the space on the walls for it. and. I'm not what I was or who I was and yeah sometimes I do feel sad about that that I'm not the collector I was and I never will be again I think part of that's Covid uh, not being able to go anywhere and just even look in because you know, I like to look at second-hand books in bookshops and pick up a few that I, I want to keep, like um, film-related stuff, Jack the Ripper, hist uh, Egyptian history and stuff, and I can't go and do that at the moment, and it is frankly uh, wearing me out completely. I hate it. I want to be able to go out and uh, go to charity shops and look at their books and their films and records and... It's been tough, very, very tough on us, and I'm, I'm just feeling really quite drained. I mean, we're at 24 minutes, we've hardly done anything, so I, I'm not going to do too much. We'll make it over half an hour, make it about 40 minutes, I think. So there's going to be at least one more of this. If you, if you want to see it, if you want to see something else, I'm quite happy to do something else and finish this off on my own. But um, I know you guys like to see the whole process, so... It's quite nice. I like this book. I'm going to have to colour more in this one. Yeah, I want to finish one of my pictures in uh, the Alan Roberts Beauty of Horror books. I've got two of those on the go that I haven't coloured in yet. Well I have coloured, I've started them but they're whips. One's not going to take that much to finish it and the other one I've barely started so I think I might do one of those next month. 
I'll save my Christmas whip for Christmas in July and finish it off then, I think. That might be the best way. Yeah. Oh dear, we're already in March. We're nearly at the end of March. We've only got another week and a bit to go and it's Easter. So I bought Paul an Easter egg today, but I've left it down my mum so he can't see it. Because I don't want him seeing it before the day. I'll bring it back next week. Because I had shopping with me today, so I had to unpack it in front of him. Where I... Bless him. And I just got to get some for Jen. I get me Easter colouring book out, me Jade Summer one, start doing that next week. All towards the end of the following week when we reach the end of the month. Because the 31st is, I think it's a Wednesday. So that's what they get paid. And I'll be checking to make sure my bonus is in. And if it is, I'm going. <laughs> Shopping on Amazon. <laughs> and Paul actually said to me, Yes, your bonus, you know, save some of it for your holiday and do what you want with the rest. If you want to spend it on colouring books, it makes you happy, that's good. Yeah. And it's not like it's a fleeting hobby. I've been doing this for what, four years now, maybe five. Five, I think. So when you were claims, it was kind of and I just. I just enjoy doing it. I mean, I just sit there and colour for hours sometimes. I mean, normally I'd sit and colour next to Paul and colour while he um, watches the football. But to, like I said, today he's talking to his mate. <clears throat> and that's fine. I don't mind. That's good for him. And I said tomorrow he's, he's talking to his other mates. So tomorrow I'll be doing my... Uh, uh, finishing off one of the first impressions so we can actually... Um, Get one of those out, which would be nice. I haven't done them for a long time, and it would be nice to uh, to get one up. Quite exciting. Yeah, I'm sorry, that was right now. I could go to sleep. I feel so tired. I feel absolutely shattered. And part of it is, I mean, I'm up at six. I get Jennifer up at seven, and she can be a right madam getting ready. She doesn't want to get ready at all. So, well, about this morning, she didn't want to put her shoes on. Oh, it was hard work. Um, and then I get back, and I do my shift, which is only four and a half hours. And I go and get Jennifer after I've had some lunch. And then, of course. I'm playing with her, looking after her, going for a walk with her. And I love it, and I would not change it for the world. But by now I've had tea, and I, uh, I've cooked dinner, I've put washing on, and I am just absolutely shattered. I just want to sleep. So I've got two orders to pack up. I'm going to do them tomorrow and post them on Saturday morning. And I've got to do my account, so I'll try and do that Saturday morning as well. It's just, it is hard work things, you know, it makes me tired. I'm not getting any younger. <laughs> so I like to do this because it takes my mind off of work and everything yeah, else, just relaxing, just sitting here playing with some colours. Oh, if I really want to do something mindless, I just do a pattern. I've got my, uh, one of my Jade Summer Colour by Numbers books down here to, to colour in. Um, uh, in the evenings. I sort of bring one down and I'll, sometimes it'll be a proper picture, um, by that I mean a, a, not a pattern. Um, I don't mean that they're not proper pictures because of course they are. But gosh, is Paul going to get any louder? Oh, he's loud. And um, so I've got one on the, um, the go at the moment in Colour in Heaven. Nouveau Fairies, which came out last month, and I still haven't I've been doing it for them since the beginning of this month. But it's very, very nearly finished. There's very little to do, so I'll probably finish that tomorrow. And then I've got um, a picture on the go from Yam Puff Streams collection, which I've had on the go for since last month. But I started it last month. <laughs> this is a book I wanted to colour loads in, and I wanted to try using markers, and I haven't even finished the first pencil one yet. So I've brought that down because obviously the Black Widow's down here while we're filming this and that's fine, they can stay down here and I'll finish that off. 
Polychromos, uh, which I was using on the Nouveau Fairy, if I finish, I'm just doing some work with um, some gel pens and fine liners now on that picture. So, uh, yes, it's all about that. I'm going to be just like uh, Goldilocks when I go up to bed, I tell you. Well, 30 minutes, it stopped, I don't know how much of that you missed. Like I said, I've got my subscribers open so that people, when I subscribe to the channel, it tells them that I've subscribed. So. I like this picture. Be interesting to colour some more of this book. There's so many books though that I want to colour in, and I'm thinking, oh, I want to colour in this one now. I want to, I want to colour in this one. And I'm like, but I haven't coloured in this one yet, and I want to colour in this one next. And it's like, there's just not enough. There's too many books, and not enough hours in the day to colour in them. <laughs> It really is like that though, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? It's really like that. Put a bit of shading around here. But that's how I feel. It's like, oh, there's too many colouring books, not enough time. And yet we keep buying them. Why do we do that? Uh, because it's an addiction, because it's a, it's a collection, it's a hobby in itself, collecting pencils and books. I dread to think how many books I've got now. It's got to be nearly 300, if not over the 300. I don't know, I'll have to count them. It's just at the moment they're everywhere because I've got loads down here for various videos. Um, I've got some piles of whips. So I just need to have a good check on, try and get some of them back up onto the stacks. And then I can um, count them up again and I'll see how we've got. And, um, at some point, oops, it's gone a bit out of focus there. I'll do a complete colouring book collection again if you'd like to see that. The only thing I don't really want to do is that I've got so many Jade Summers. I've already not long made a video on Jade Summer and there's not been that many since. Though I have got a few more. So I'm wondering, shall I leave it till the end of this year? Because I did it at the end of 2000 and I want to say 19. Or shall I do it in around... June or July. I don't, I'm going to do it in separate videos and not make it into one big long one. Because um, of course I keep my books that I've coloured in separate from the books I haven't coloured in as well. That's just a habit I've got into. I like to be able to see what I haven't coloured in so that while I'm working on Colour My Hoard, and this is kind of Colour My Hoard because I've not coloured in this one, I've had this for ages, got well, it when it came out, and I haven't coloured in it. So this is like Colour My Hoard, March 2021. Yeah, I tend to put the range one purely because it didn't distract me as much. You know, if I put, if I put like Nation on or something, he's got a few good songs, a few cracks on in the middle of chapter, and it's not like be like, no, I'm listening to the music, I'm not working. So, yeah. So, so, yes, would you like that? And would you like to see my collection of colouring supplies? It's grown uh, exponentially in the last a year. I can do one of those as well. I've kind of got it sort of organised now into, you know, various locations. So I've got pencils in one. Uh, markers and, and gel pens in another box because uh, I don't have a lot of space to store it unless I've got them in boxes and then I've got uh, my watercolours, pencils and stuff separate again and then there's a set of drawers with stuff in like um, certain paints and pencils that don't fit so if that's something you want to see do let me know down in the comments yeah. below and um, I'll see what I can do so I will have to film those upstairs though because there's just too yeah. many to bring downstairs now they're all up there. I will film it upstairs. Yeah. But, uh, at least I found the battery for my main camera. So this has actually been filmed on the normal camera and not the vlogging camera. So uh, the last uh, videos were filmed on the, the vlogging camera because I could not find the battery charger and I found it now. So of course I don't know where half the batteries have gone but they're here somewhere. Um, <laughs> oh. 
Yeah, my throat's dry because I've so got cold. I'll hit the orange juice yeah. tomorrow, hit the vitamin C. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we've done 30 minutes, 35 minutes now. So I'll do the other part of the bedspread, which is over here. I'll leave the trim for today. And then I will do that on the curtains and the rest of it. We'll start the rest of it, we'll do a bit more in the next video. Um, yeah, I know what I'm doing in this video now, just to finish it off, but it, it's a, when you're working with pencils, it takes a lot longer than working with markers. We can do a one hour video and we'll have finished a picture, so, you know, it's just one of those things. We need to uh, crack on and... So there's a lot going on at the moment and I'm, I'm literally dead on my feet, although I'm sitting down so I'm not technically on my feet, but uh, yeah, I am tired. I'm looking forward to having a long weekend over Easter. Four days, oh I can't wait, four day weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, oh, that's amazing. Four day weekend. Oh. Yeah, it's good. Just have a, and if it's nice, I can sit out in the garden and play with Jennifer and colour if if pulls around because we take it in turns to play with her. You know, there's certain things she wants me to do with her and certain things she wants Paul to do. So, and Granddad can come up if it's nice and we can sit in the garden and eat, have a cup of tea. And then I'll be it, I think. I, mean, I might do the, the rest of the trim on her dress, but I haven't quite done that yet. I think we're getting that bit. But, uh, yeah. So, yes, what are you guys colouring at the moment? What are you working on? Have you got any big sort of um, colouring projects on the go? Uh, are you just colouring patterns? Are you colouring, um, God, what are they called? Colour by numbers? Are you colouring um, patterns? What's your favourite at the moment? What are you really into? You know, because sometimes we, we do, we all change. You know, sometimes we want to colour portraits and sometimes we want to colour flowers and sometimes we want to do colour by numbers and sometimes we want to do patterns and sometimes we want to do dots and spirals that's not my sort of thing but I do understand why people like them I think they're fascinating and they look good some of them look good when you can tell who it is but uh, you know I love looking at the pictures that people have done and think oh yeah that looks really good so, I must try starting to comment and comment on people's videos when I've watched them because I tend to watch them on my TV so then I've got to get my phone, find my phone, and then obviously put it on there as well, so. I don't know how many pictures I've done this month. I mean, I've done a lot of patterns, but I know some people, they do like 60-odd pictures. I mean, I know a lot of them are, are um, coloured by numbers. I think, where do they get the time? You know, and some people say, oh, it's quality, not quantity. But if you're enjoying yourself, it doesn't matter what the quality is. I mean, and they can look fabulous. Some people just do straight colouring. I do a lot of the time. I've got to be honest, I'm not very good at the shading and the blending. I, I colour it the way I like the way it, to see how it looks. And if it looks all right and I like the way it looks, then I'm happy with it. But And sometimes I just want to get a marker out or a pencil and just straight colour a picture. And that's what I tend to do with the patterns. I love using my glitter gel pens, as you know. So I just wish I had the time to do that much. I think my hands would be crippled if I did 60 pages or more a month. I really would. I mean, my hands hurt just colouring generally a lot of the time. So do you know what I mean? I like this colour bed, bed spread. I'll do the, the curtains would be a darker blue. Let's go back over this now. So, 
So, I think it must be half time nearly because we're on 40 minutes and it had started before I came out because I wasn't in the best of moods today so I did think about not doing it and doing it tomorrow but I thought no that's not fair it'll make me feel better if I do it as well I'll feel better and I do actually just sitting here colouring and chatting to you guys it feels so much better it's like I've been vlogging this week but again I've been missing bits and um, it's just what I can do when I can do it and when I remember it you know, it's not like there's anything happening. Obviously, if we go, can go somewhere and when we can go places, I'll be able to vlog a bit more. But there is a plenty of footage of Jennifer in the garden, uh, our garden, Grandad's garden, up on the canal. So, there we are. So yeah, it's just a matter of colouring how you like to colour. I don't let you don't let anybody tell you you're wrong because it's yours, and people will make comments and people will leave stupid remarks. Not so much um, these days, but if I get anything I don't like, I j or anything that's a bit trolly, and you do get trolls, I just delete them. Another one is these ones that just put um, timestamps in them. That's actually a, a virus that if it, if you click on the time, it'll put a virus on your computer. So if I see those anywhere on my channel, and I have, usually when I'm uploading a colour and chat, it's when you do a long video and they tend to put it on and you think, oh, what's there? And then, you know, as soon as I see it, and I do get notifications for when people comment, com comment on my channel, as soon as I see them, I will go and I will take them off. I, I remove them immediately because I, I don't want anybody getting an infected phone or computer. Uh, um, you know, the, uh, in my opinion, the only timestamps you should ever look at are ones I put on there myself if I ever decide to, and that's unlikely because I'm too lazy. So if they come from me, you know they're safe. Anybody else, don't trust them. And especially if they don't say anything else, if it just is literally a time spam without any explanation. Nah, just ignore it, it's a bot. Oh now they're talking politics, I can hear them. So because I've got a bad throat and I don't want to make my voice bad because I have got to work tomorrow and of course I work on the phones I'm actually going to call it a day here after this bit I'm just finishing this off There we go um, so we're going to finish it there we haven't done a lot again but it is for over 40 minutes and <clears throat> it's looking nice so I'm going to call it a day there. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please uh, leave me a comment or give this uh, video a thumbs up. Uh, let me know if you want to see a complete colouring book and or supplies uh, video. And I'll certainly do that when I can. I'll see you very soon. Bye, everyone.